Hey guys, it's Dan, and we are back with another episode of Stout Gaming Make the Double Battles. We are into episode two with James Beck's uh, Aurora's Araquanid team featuring Necrozma and Yveltal. Uh, episode one was a bit of a rougher showing, but let's go ahead and take a look at what we're facing here. We've got the Zacian Shadow Rider team, uh, so Yveltal's going to be great here. Uh, Araquanid's actually decent here. Doesn't look like a great matchup for Aurorus. Actually, hmm. I mean, it doesn't look like a great matchup for Aurorus, but I think Necrozma makes a lot of sense next to. Actually, wait, stop. Yveltal, Arcanine, Necrozma, Araquanid makes sense here. Because uh, this Intimidate is going to be pretty nice. Uh, Yveltal puts pressure on some of his more offensive modes. And then I have speed control with the Bulldoze as well. Incin and Thunderous. Okay. So we're, we're going to find out right away if this is Max or Support uh, Thunderous. Uh, I think we, based on this lead, this is going to be Max Thunderous. Okay, so we're, we're in a little bit of trouble here then. Uh, I kind of want to Will-O-Wisp it, but... Yveltal is not in a great position here, so we have to make a defensive switch really quick. And I think it's going to be, Necrozma is going to be the best bet as a defensive switch. And then we Wisp the Thunderous. It doesn't feel great because the fake out here uh, gives me some issues, but I still think it's fine. So Max the Thunderous. Yeah, I had support Thunderous just in my mind the whole time. I didn't consider really that a Defiant Thunderous just straight lead into my team made a lot of sense, but it kind of did. Let's see, where's the fake out going? Into the Arcanine, okay. I was hoping it would go into the other one. The Lightning's not going to do a huge amount here. I mean, it'll do, do good damage, but... Uh, if I max, I survive a lightning. Because hmm. that did what? 120 damage and max get to 160 something. And I could... Rockfall this Thunderous. If I bulldoze here, Rockfall... Feels super sketchy. I think it's the play, but it feels super sketchy. Uh, Cause I think I survive barely. And then there's a chance this instant outspeeds me and just goes for a double up into Necrozma and then I'm in a very, very bad position. But there's also a chance where I'm just in a moderately bad position because I survive. Oh, he goes for an airstream. Okay. Yeah, this we can deal with. Uh, let's see. I eat my citrus. Arcanine bulldozes. Now the question is, does he launch an attacking from the Necrozma, and do I die from it? Uh, it's minus one instant, so I don't think I die from it. Oh, he thought I was going for Trick Room. Okay, this is a great turn. This is a great turn. Rockfall will take out the Thunderous. 
And we are back into a plus position. I don't think that crit mattered at plus two. Uh, now we have options, depending on what he sends on out. If it's the Zacian, I kind of just want to protect and wisp it. Because is protect wisp too easy to call? Right, I'm taunted. Uh, so it is impossible to call. Okay. Do I want to preserve the Necrozma now? I think we Quake the Zacian and we Wisp the Zacian, understanding that only one will go through, but whatever one goes through is going to be good for us uh, in late game positions. Because this should take out this Necrozma here. Oh, never mind. We're good. We are very solid. We are very, very solid. Ah, uh, never mind. That'll kill it. But the Wisp was good. Yeah, if I had access to Max Guard, I would have done it. But that taunt didn't really Max Guard. But now the Zacian is significantly less threatening. Let's see, what do we have in the back? Can we just send out this Araquanid? I mean, I think I'd have rather have this Yveltal in this current field. Actually, no, I want this Araquanid out because I can just. Uh, Go for a liquidation, and then if he switches into the... And I think a flamethrower makes sense here. So I don't think the Zacian can actually kill this Araquanid while burned. Uh, it might kill this Arcanine, which is completely fine. And then Yveltal should be in decent position late game, because I can wide guard. Oh, something's about to have a really bad day, and I think it's... I don't... Th even at minus one, I don't think he wants to deal with this. Oh, it's Blastoise? He didn't even bring the Kali? Okay. Suddenly I'm confused. Burn Zacian. Yvelta doesn't really deal effectively with it, so I do need to start putting some offensive pressure on it. Just liquidation it, I guess. And then we'll snarl down this Blastoise. Actually, a Liquidation Foul Play double up might do it. I think it does. Because he's still at plus one. That's fine. That does not do it. in late game. Uh, now we think that's support Blastoise. Protect here makes sense. He might switch that Zacian out into Insin, and if he does that, 
I don't think he just lets the Zacian die here, so I want to protect there and... Actually, no. If he does switch out, let's liquidation here. It feels risky, but I think liquidation and... Hmm. Liquidation for Snarl makes sense here, because I... He does just stay on the position, but he goes into the Aveltal. Okay. This if this liquidation can take it out, we're in a decent spot. Blizzard, and he hits both. Wow. Now I really need this to kill. The question here is who do I think the Ensign is going to fake out? If I think it's the Arachnid, I want to protect there. But if I think it's the... He's going for Blizzard. I have to go for Oblivion on this turn. Let's just Liquidation here, and he's going to fake something out. But we still have to Oblivion Wing the Blastoise. Like, uh, it doesn't feel good. Yeah, because I'm AV, so I can't protect. Okay, we're still in it. We are still in it. A protect on Arachnid would have been an interesting call there. But... Okay, minus one, how much do I think a Hydro Cannon does? Okay, so I think my play is Oblivion Wing the Blastoise, only let the Ensign's damage through. And then hopefully it's Flare Blitz, and if I survive, I can Oblivion Wing it. It feels narrow. I could always count on the Blastoise and miss, but I think there's a chance I survive something from this Ensign. Oh, but I don't even kill the Blastoise. Okay, now I need the Blastoise to miss as, as well as that. Oh, and Blastoise had to recharge with those Hydro Cannon. Yeah, I mean, I didn't have a shot to survive that anyway. Okay. Well, let's move on into the next game. Yeah, I really like this AV Eveltal, but not protecting is hurting me a lot. Alright, so we've got an Alchemy NDD... Dialga, Calyrex, Reggie Drago, Torkoal. It's an interesting team. Uh, Wide Guard looks insane here. Yveltal looks pretty good. Okay, Yveltal, Krasma, Arachnid would definitely come. Uh, what do I think he leads? I think Yveltal plus Araquanid uh, seems pretty safe with Necrozma in the back. And then... Arcanine doesn't do much. Aurorus doesn't look great. I think I gotta go with Rillaboom in the back. Hmm. Okay, Snarl here looks phenomenal.
Yeah. Star looks really good. Liquidation can just take out this Indeedee, I think. Yeah, because this this thing almost always maxes. He's going to be protecting it, so just killing the Ndidi early seems good. Oh, doesn't max. Okay, this is probably like a Meteor Beam set. A neutral, I survive a Meteor Beam. Yeah, Didi just dies here. Let's see if it's Meteor Beam. I bet this is Meteor Beam. Trick Room. Interesting. I don't even know if this gets Meteor Beam. I assume it does. I'll have to check that later. Alright, Alchemy comes on out. Gonna decorate, probably. Simply snarl again to keep that thing at neutral. Liquidation won't do a lot there, but I kinda wanna soak it to take away its stab and to make Rillaboom really effective late game answer. So let's click soak. Here comes the max and the decorate. A sip of coffee. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so plus one, does that kill? It does, okay. But this is fine, because now I just send in Rillaboom and suddenly that thing is not happy to see anything. Okay, so the Soak Tech. Do I max the Rillaboom here? No, I think I just glide. Mm, do I want to call a max guard? And I don't know what he'd switch into though, so I think I can just glide and then liquidation the alchemy. Baby doll eyes. Okay, that's interesting. This is still gonna hurt. Oh no, that's not not nearly as much as I thought it would. Okay, so he's just buffing up defensively. Man, that does a lot of damage. Even at plus one. Uh okay, I won't let him get another deck right off, so. Basically, I just come on out and max this Necrozma. That might be Physical Dialga, but that would be weird, wouldn't it? I think Physical Dialga would be weird. Guess I just max quake it. Doesn't seem great. But we got a liquidation here. Honestly, I thought that really one play would do more damage than it did. 
Baby Doll Eyes is a very cool tech. And I kind of expect it again here. Maybe I should have max guarded this turn. Okay, nope, I just get the liquidation off, and then I'll get a max quake off for a spit up boost. I should eat one of these attacks at plus one. Yeah, that's super bulky. Steel Spike comes out again, he's gonna bulk himself up. Rack when it eats that up. It is life orb. What's my late game link on here? It being Reggie Drago is an interesting late game win con for me. Yeah, everything else is fainted, right? Yeah. I think we quake. The Dialga again. And. Wide guard? Question mark? Let's see what this Reggie Dragon wants to go for. Liquidation might have been the play there. But that's just always so satisfying. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Give me the damage. Oh, no. Wide guard was the play. Wide guard was the play. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll win this one. Quake the Drago, it's wide guard again. Yeah. Okay, that one's fair. That one's a fair fight. Uh, so yeah, that was an interesting way to play this team, but uh, <laughs> I will swing back around for our last battle of the day. All right. Super rain team, very rain heavy. is gonna be good here, Rillaboom's gonna be pretty good here, and Aurorus is gonna be good. Ooh, last battle with this team, I finally get to feature the Aurorus. Uh, how do I wanna start this? Like the three that come are pretty obvious. I think we go for late game Aurorus and Necrozma. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Necrozma looks super good here. And if I can pop up with Aurorus, 
I'd be very happy, because the Raquanid got its pop-off game last time. Expect the fake out into. I think he's gonna fake out Yvelta. I could just max darkness. Nah. I think we snarl here with Yveltal. Uh And. Grassy Glide into Raichu doesn't seem like a bad option here. I expect this Palkia to max, and then uh, Necrozma max, and it'll look pretty good. Well, this Raichu's probably going to fix something out here. And then I'll get a Snarl off. Oh! Fast Palkia. Very fast Palkia. I still get a Snarl off. In fact, I probably get two Snarls off because Grassy Glide into Raichu will take it out here. Could also Oblivion Wing, but I think Snarl here makes sense. Let's stop this Palkia's damage output. Let's glide into this Raichu. Which should take it out before it can do something. Oh, okay. That makes... okay. I got one Snarl off. Helping Hand is a nice call there. Let's go for the geyser. It should, yeah. Even at minus one with helping hand, that'll take it out. Uh, I don't think that crit mattered. It might have, but I don't think so. And let's get the Krozma in. Quake here into something. Probably that Kyogre. And glide to stop. Honestly, I think I actually sword stance here. If it specs, this play looks suspicious if it goes if it specs and goes for okay yep it's something I can quake it is something I can quake nice okay yeah this is a play we go for sword stance then grassy glide is once again threatening even if he goes for a warm wind here and this seems fine. Okay, so I'm back up to neutral. Uh,
I don't know if this grassy glide threatens to take it out here. It might. question is, do I think any sort of double up kills Necrozma? The answer is no. So I actually want to Quake again. Let's get more special defense on this Wheel of Doom. We can Quake here. Then we threaten it next turn with a Grassy Glide. And I think we just protect the Rillaboom this turn. Because if we protect Rillaboom, give it another special defense bonus will absolutely be threatening to take out uh, next turn. Yeah, okay. That, that play made sense. Wicked Blow. Yep. Give my weakness policy. Yep. Give me my Max Quake. Now we're cooking with gas. I kind of want Aurora's to pop off in this endgame, but it's not going to. Uh, I'm not going to say it's not going to. There's, there's a world where it still does, but an increasingly small world because I've got a plus two special defense reel of them sitting in front of a Kyogre and a Palkia, which is just going to be awesome. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Well, that's one way to uh, end this battle. So, uh, GG's to my opponent. Uh, finished up pretty strong with this team. It's not exactly my cup of tea. Uh, I'll play around a bit more with teams similar to it, of course. Um, Yveltal, I really like. Necrozma actually performed very well. Uh, that and Solgaleo, I think, are really good in Necrozma Dawn, uh, Dusk Main. Uh, the Aurorus never really got to pop off, but the Arachnid got one game. But yeah, I will be coming back uh, tomorrow with a new team. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.